How are LNG developers bringing costs down in this price competitive market? So the LNG developers are looking at the delivery providers, the engineering, procurement, construction, fabrication industry, which I represent for my company, uh, ways to deliver on the projects in reduced cost and schedule certainty methods. So they're really looking to, I think, the industry, uh, the, the solution providers such as ourselves, to deliver on those promises. We're reacting to that in, in ways in terms of bringing fabrication into our, our companies, um, looking at global delivery options, the whole supply chain, as well as the best way to construct and fabricate those projects. So that's a, a work in progress for the industry, and uh, I think we're trying to help deliver on those, those goals. Floor are currently developing Thailand's first FSRU. Can you give us an update on this and what it means for the region? Fluor was involved in the Klaipados Lithuanian FSRU project back a few years ago. Uh, we had oversight on the project and we're helping uh, with the front end engineering for the, the Thai folks for uh, EGAT. What are the key market dynamics which are greatly influencing the demand growth for natural gas and LNG? Market dynamics, there is, as you know, in the past few years, there's been a surplus or a uh, quite a significant amount of LNG available in the marketplace and prices are down, which means it's a very competitive fuel and it's a clean fuel. So the market dynamic, I think, in terms of the supply and demand is that there's a significant amount of supply. That is driving the uh, LNG and gas into regions uh, for a clean, cost-effective solution to deliver power to them. So I think it's a, it's a combination of things. You've got the global environmental uh, move as well as being a cheap and more of a commodity now in the industry. As a member of the GasTech governing body, what are you most looking forward to at GasTech 2018 in Barcelona? GasTech is, is obviously one of the most well-regarded and uh, well-attended industry events. So looking forward again to uh, renewing acquaintances and meeting with the, uh, the movers and shakers in the industry to see where the, where the industry is headed.